I'm gonna be trying out TikTok thrift flips. So I'm now outside the charity thrift store. I managed to find some pretty good finds in there. Here we go, my first victim of the day. And this is what my finished set looks like. <laughs> Life. Today I'm gonna be getting crafty and I'm gonna be trying out TikTok thrift flips. So I looked on TikTok and I found loads of really fun thrift flips or charity. I'm from the UK so we don't call them thrift shops, we call them charity shops. Um, but just second hand clothes and I'm gonna be trying to upcycle them. So I'm really excited for this because I absolutely love like fashion and art and crafting. So I feel like this is gonna be loads of fun, but obviously first of all, I need to actually go to a charity shop and get myself some secondhand clothes. So I'm now outside the charity thrift store and it looks really good. The only thing is I'm confused about, it says the end of this Segunda Mano, which means secondhand shop, which makes sense. But then it's also called a consignment store. What does consignment even mean? Dad said it's something like when um, a package is gonna be delivered. Yeah, I don't get why it's called that, but Anyway, let's see if they have the things I need for my flips. And I'm now back home from the thrift store and this is the first item that I'm gonna be flipping. So for the TikTok tutorial, she starts off wearing this big oversized t-shirt, which is very similar the one I'm wearing. This top is basically big enough to be like a t-shirt dress. I actually kind of like how it is at the moment, especially because I managed to find some pretty good finds in there. And this one is an Adidas top, but I'm not gonna be leaving it just like this, of course. So in the video, she ends up turning it into this really cute off the shoulder top and skirt set. So I thought that would look really nice with the straps, how the straps are gonna be like part of the top and then it's gonna carry on down on the skirt. I think it's gonna work really nicely with the shirt, so. Let's get started. I am actually like so excited for this. Like I'm in my element right now, Mia Corns. <laughs> so the first step is to measure all out and cut it up. So I am actually gonna be using some of my clothes to get the correct measurements, which already fit me. So then I know the perfect size. The only thing is I realized, I mean, this skirt is very high waisted. So maybe I'll just have to make it a little bit lower waisted, but this is a lot. I've already just got enough t-shirt to fit this. So um, fingers crossed it's not too short. Here we go, my first victim of the day. I'm gonna be very scissor happy by the end of the day. Okay, I think I'm just gonna start with separating the top and skirt piece. So about here, I guess I can just follow this line. Now I have this one shoulder dress, which I'm gonna use as my guide for the top part. So I'm gonna make sure that the Adidas logo is like here on the top. I need to remember to give myself enough room for the stitching, the hem. Don't cut right next to the dress. <laughs> So this is really stretchy fabric. This isn't. This literally looks so tiny and I haven't even like sewed it or anything. Like this looks like it's gonna fit my sister. Guess I'm making a top for my sister now. Also. I actually don't have any, I don't have a sewing machine and the, in this tutorial she uses a sewing machine. Other tutorials that I've picked don't use a sewing machine, pretty much. But I've decided I'm gonna go for the easy option and that is glue because um, I don't have a sewing machine and hand sewing takes forever, so. Right, I obviously want the edges to look nice, so I'm gonna glue that. So now I have done the seams. As you can see, they're all nicely glued on. And now I'm gonna attach the two sides together. So I made sure it's inside out. I haven't made that mistake, thank goodness. The glue is actually working quite well. Definitely a good hack. I don't know how it would survive in the washing machine. So obviously this is definitely gonna be way too small for me. I've stuck it all together. There's no way this will fit me. But you know, I feel like yeah. the width of it it does look like it would be good for you, because obviously it will yeah. stretch a little bit. But obviously I cut the shape of the shoulder for me, so the strap is gonna be too low on you. So I think what I'm probably gonna do is shorten it. Let's just draw that guideline. And now I also have another issue, Sienna. So yeah. obviously I was gonna make a matching skirt. I was thinking, since I'm making the top for you now, maybe I can make the skirt for you as well. So go get yeah. a nice short skirt for me to be able to get the right measurements. 
So I just did the same thing for the skirt as I did the top. I cut it using sienna skirt as a guide and then I stuck the two sides together. Luckily the bottom is already hemmed, which I appreciate. Now I'm gonna do the waist part. I've also got this elastic just to make sure it fits around her nicely. Just tried on her skirt and top and it's literally falling apart at yeah. the seams not even joking yeah but this looks I so like cute it. though imagine if I had a sewing machine it would look so cute and the yeah. skirt and if I'd made this bigger I am kind of envious that I don't have this for myself do you like it, it 100% not fit you though. No. It just about fits me, but you I You look really so love cute. It. it really suits you as well. I want to take a pic for my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> For my next victim, I have got this pink jumper. What I didn't realize about it until I left the thrift store is that it's actually a Lululemon jumper, which is really good to find in a charity shop secondhand. And it's really good quality. I actually kind of like how it is. But anyways, I'm gonna be following this tutorial where she starts off with a turtleneck, it's okay, because the end result actually isn't using the turtleneck, she cut it off. So it works fine. So basically what I'm gonna do is cut it, cut this, and then I've got a little cardigan. And then with the rest of my jumper, I'm gonna be turning it into a little cheek top. So I'm gonna draw where I want my cardigan to end, I think here. And then I've still got plenty to work with for my top. This is the most satisfying part for me. Now I'm just gonna cut the cardigan in half. happy with how just the cardigan is looking. I think it's really cute. I'm measuring out my tube top right now. This is what I've cut. I think what I'm probably gonna do later on is with the scraps make some straps as well because I feel like I'll prefer that because I personally prefer tops with straps so then they don't fall down so much. I'm now gonna stick the sides together and see how this goes. I'm wondering if maybe I should give the top a hem. I feel like it might look better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a hem and stick it all together now. And this is what my finished set looks like. I've decided that I'm not gonna add straps on just because I can't be bothered, but maybe I will do that another time. And I really like it. I've also not added any jewels. I've just left it plain. I like the positioning of how I ended up working out where to put the Lululemon logo and the glue has worked really nicely with it. So yeah, I'm happy with how this looks. So this is the next item which I'm going to be flipping. The tutorial, she starts off with a top basically the same as this. I literally almost found the identical top, except mine is Indian Canyons Golf Resort Palm Springs. I feel like this could be a really nice dress. So all she does is cut it and then sews the sides together. Obviously, I'm going to be doing the cheap easier version which doesn't require a sewing machine and it's just glue but let's hope this goes well <laughs> so i just laid out my dress and i realized i have a slight issue look where the logo is it's basically going to cut the logo off although i did realize that this is a very stretchy dress like the one i did earlier so maybe i'm just going to use this as a shape guide and try and get the logo in but then also remember that this is super stretchy fabric whereas this is less stretchy so let's try and cut this Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's try and replicate it on the other side. Okay, let's have a look. Right, this does look like it's gonna fit me. This does look right. I'm a little bit nervous about this hem. It's gonna be so close to the logo, but um, I guess we just have to make it work somehow. <laughs> So I just spent like the last 15 minutes applying glue to all of the edges and it's just not working at all on this athletic sweat wicker fabric, I guess. Like it, it just is, it's not working. On all the other fabrics I've tried so far, it worked really nicely, it stuck really well, but this one, it just, it just won't stick. Like the glue just won't work at all. So um, this one's kind of a fail. I'm kind of disappointed about this because you kind of need a sewing machine because to hand sew that much is a lot of work and I don't have time for that. <laughs> number five actually isn't a dress despite the fact that it literally looks like a dress it's actually a skirt and this is the tutorial so her skirt is like a short pencil skirt because basically what she does is makes the skirt short and then makes it scrunchy out of the excess fabric so let's try that and also what I'm going to have to do is sew in this waistband but I think it's going to make a really cute skirt and I really don't like it. 
I have sewn up so it fits around my waist now, which makes it look better. But I feel like it would just look better if I made it a raw edge, but obviously cut it neat. Because this glue is just, it just looks really bad. And then also this skirt, I realized, has actually got loads of stains on it. So yeah, I feel like this one was a failure. Um, yeah, it just really doesn't work. This is my next item, this plain grey top. This is the tutorial, so let's watch it together. Recreating tops I saw on Pinterest. Looks nice and easy, so she's cutting it. And then from here on I have no idea what's going on. I, how am I even going to be able to follow this? Like this is so confusing. I'm not joking. First step that she does is cut the top using one of her tops as a guide. Okay, so next she cuts off the neck of the top. Okay. Okay, so I think the next thing I have to do is cut the arm off one of them. Still isn't really making all that much sense to me, but we're just gonna try. Okay, so I have to cut the other sleeve off. Okay, so now I think I need to cut this part, I guess. And then I guess I just cut the slip. Now I'm just gonna try and make the cut edges more neat and then try it on and work out if this even works. <laughs> I'm sort of perplexed. Something about it just doesn't look right. And while I was cutting up, somehow I managed to make a hole in it. So I don't even know how that happened. So I literally just snipped a hole. I just got Two scissors are happy and accidentally snipped a hole in it, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling about this top. I just feel like it looks a bit, something about it is a bit off. Like something about it doesn't look right and I don't know what it is. So me clowns, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm back in the pink set because I actually really absolutely love this. This is definitely something I'm gonna be wearing in the future. It's really comfy actually, and I feel like it looks super cute. I mean, it does have a little bit of a homemade edge to it, but I don't really mind that. I feel like it still looks cute. And I feel like rough edges is kind of a style, so that's why I'm glad like I left it like that. The glue has actually held so well. I feel like this is the only item which has really worked, to be honest. Anyways, guys, if you know Antimation, Make sure to click subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!